50s for Monday. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Case. Well, May is National Military Appreciation Month, an opportunity to learn about the hidden figures of military service. KTLA 5's Gail Anderson joins us now from the California African American Museum with the story of the Buffalo Soldiers. When you arrive, you will see this. It's a new exhibition for race and country. Buffalo Soldiers in California. May is National Military Appreciation Month. When you arrive here, the first thing you will see that will startle you, the uniform. Susan Anderson is history curator here. These are not reproductions. They're original, real uniforms. On the left is an infantry uniform. On the right, a cavalry uniform from 1899, representing some of the units of Buffalo soldiers, the all black units in the United States Army. Which dates back to the 1800s. Dates back to a year after the Civil War. These units were formed at no time in American history had black troops been a permanent part of the Army. And after the Civil War, after the courage of the black troops in overcoming the slave system and helping the Union to victory, and as a part of Reconstruction, the United States Congress uh, reconstructed the military and brought in permanent black troops for the first time. One of the many outstanding figures you'll learn about here is this gentleman. Take a look at this image. Colonel Charles Young, a soldier, diplomat, uh, civil rights leader. This exhibit is named for that inscription that's on that photograph for race and country. Uh, oh, West Point graduate, uh, first African American National Park Superintendent, an outstanding individual. Uh, excellence is, is his name. He was an extraordinary person, and Charles Young's Army career had an impact on California, and California had an impact on his Army career. As you mentioned, many of these accomplishments were done while he was here in the state. And his signature for race and country is kind of the theme of this exhibit. It shows that while African Americans were patriotic people, and somebody like Charles Young, there was no one more patriotic, but at the same time, they were committed to the equality of their people. And so they lived in what W.E.B. Du Bois called a kind of double consciousness. They were in conflict, yet they served their country at the same time. Transforming a state and the nation. Buffalo Soldiers in California at the California African American Museum. Gail Anderson, KTLA 5 News.